Hello, hello beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something special that we'd started on the previous video where we made this very beautiful shield and we're going to convert it and complete it into a steering wheel cover by the end of this video. These are the materials that we had used and if you can't remember the pattern that we are using was the same that we always use on making our bracelets if you haven't watched any of our bracelets uh, tutorials kindly check our playlist where you can see uh, how we did this especially the one where we did making a kenyan bracelet you can be able to see uh, slowly how we did it or if this is the very first video that you're watching kindly check there's a previous one where we did how to make this beautiful kenyan shield and you can start from there and resume here so as you can see when we continue our kenyan themed uh, steering wheel cover is slowly taking shape this thing takes quite some time so you really have to be patient patience is key in beading but at the end of the day your final artwork really comes out amazing and also this is something that you can do as a hobby and also you can turn into a part-time uh, side hustle that can earn you some extra income so the skills that you earn you get here can be used to get that extra dollar into your pocket so you can take this quite seriously and turn it into something that you can get some money out of and as you can see we are slowly making good progress and we keep continuing remember we're just repeating the same pattern over and over again you just have to be very keen not to mix up the colors um, also you need to be very patient when doing this type of art but at the end of the process trust me you're going to love the outcome if you are a beginner at beadwork and you can access this size of beads um, the size 8 it's a very good starting point because they are quite big so it's easy for you to spot the mistakes when you make them so i highly recommend that if you're a beginner at beadwork you best start here with this size of beads as you progress to the smaller ones where you can continue with them so as you can see our kenyan mat or flag is slowly taking shape as you can see we have made the second uh, shield and it looks quite neat i always love the results of patience because at the end you always get something that is very very beautiful and remember you don't necessarily have to make this exact replica you can also make your own color combination using the preferred colors that you have in mind or pattern and you can always come out with something very neat you can let me know in the comment section down below if you would love to see more of this kind of tutorials where we do the beaded steering wheel covers and I'm really grateful for all the feedback that you guys have been giving me. As you can see here, the progress that you're making, uh, from time to time you have to uh, check with the steering uh, cover. The steering cover that is black is where we're going to stitch on our beaded uh, uh, flag or Kenyan pattern. So from time to time occasionally so that you can see your progress and also not over overdo it 
so that you can get it at the exact measurements but as you can see so far it looks quite good remember i always leave those uh fishing line until the end where i can now snip all of them and cut them at once because it's easier that way if you've made a mistake you can easily undo it and get to correct the mistake that you had made rather than keeping on cutting the fishing lines and then if you realize that you made a mistake it's quite hard to correct the mistake that you've done so slowly by slowly we make good progress member patience is key and i'm really grateful for the feedback that you guys have been giving me kindly check our community tab where you can see uh things that other people have been able to do just from our tutorials and as you can see here our beaded cover is almost done the length is almost there so what i'm going to do is to stitch it on using this uh cobbler's uh tool where i'm going to use what i refer to as the cobbler's stitch but i highly doubt that that's the name where you start by stitching and balancing the fishing line like that and then i put the mat there and put the fishing line through two uh, beads like that or until the third one like that and then you pull and then the other fishing line on the other side that had left there i'm going to i hope you can see this clearly i'm going to pierce through the cover like that and then pull the fishing line up like that and then make that loop and pass the fishing line through like that so that is what i refer to as the cobbler's stitch because um that's what i've seen cobblers using to stitch shoes so if you know that stitch this is um something that i was improvising and found to be uh usable so it sticks onto the uh, plastic cover quite well and it works perfectly the grip is amazing it does not slip off so it's quite fine and very usable and that's the stitch that i'm going to do onto this um, bead stitching it onto the plastic all round till the end on both ends so we start with the green side like this and as you can see on the inside it looks like that so it's quite firm and quite sturdy this is not something that is going to slip when you're driving or anything it's something that's quite firm so i'm going to repeat it all round like that so guys kindly don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also share this content with your friends and guys that you know would love to try out art help this content get to as much people as possible so that we can be able to pass down this very treasured information and skills onto the next generation as you can see i'm making good progress stitching onto this plastic cover and i would really love to see one or two trials from you guys kindly if you manage to make one please reach out to me let me see what you've done i'm really grateful for all of you who have been able to try out something from these tutorials and sent me feedback some of you have even made patterns that i've never tried out just from watching my tutorial and applying your own creativity and putting your touch to
to your your creations you can also see what other people have been able to do on the community tab just go to our channel and check the community tab where you can be able to see what other people have been able to do as you can see here i'm stitching on the black side so that we can have the grip on both ends so this is something that's very very sturdy once it's on the steering wheel it can't come off because the bead is stitched onto the plastic cover and the plastic cover has got quite a grip on your steering wheel so you don't need to worry about it slipping off or coming off something that i would love you guys to try out and give me your feedback so guys our steering wheel cover is complete as you can see the steering doesn't look quite well without the cover and i'm going to put it on and have a test drive and you guys get to see and experience it firsthand and it looks amazing it feels great on the hands the ride quality of your vehicle isn't affected and it's something that really stands out from any other piece so guys thank you for watching i hope you love it kindly don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a like if you liked this video and i'm going to leave you guys here so that you can enjoy your ride peacefully.